So guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix your refresh rate on the Xbox Series S, the Xbox Series X and Xbox One. So I had this problem before where I couldn't change the refresh rate to anything actually. It was just 60 frames per second, but my TV was actually 144 hertz and it supported up to 4K. So it was kind of weird. So what you have to do is you want to go over to general. First off, go over to TV display and options. This could cause uh, this could be caused by about three problems actually. First off, what you want to do is you want to check if you have 4K available. So let's just say that you don't have 4K. What you can do is you can go over to video modes and you can check on here, allow 4K. So let's go back. Now check over to your refresh rate, what's quite important. So on mine it says 1080p 120 because I'm using a Elgato game capture card to record this video. So what you want to do is you want to go over to 4K D, uh, TV details. I want to make sure that also 120 hertz is actually available. So on my screen it isn't. Like I said, I'm using Elgato. And let's go back. What you want to do is if nothing is available, if you cannot change it to 120 hertz, what you want to do is you want to check for your cable. That's the first thing what you want to do. You want to make sure that you have a 2.1 HDMI cable. So 2.1 supports up to 8K 60 frames per second or hertz. So it also supports up to like 4K 120. So yeah, I have a 2.1 right now. And let's just say that you have the best HDMI cable, like it can support up to 120 hertz and you still have this problem. What you want to do is you want to go over to your system and on system, you want to click on console info, which I'm not going to do. There's some private information. So once you click on there, there's an option to reset your console. This shouldn't be a problem. If you keep your storage, like everything on your cloud storage, this shouldn't really be a problem. So once you click on reset console, you want to keep games and apps. That's what I do. So once you keep games and apps, you will basically just reset it, all the settings, and then it will actually collaborate with your TV or your monitor. So that's the reason why I basically do it most of the times or sometimes change like a region or something like that. So yeah, that's the third option I would say or second option actually. And yeah, this was basically the video guys. I suggest you guys to do all of them. Check your HDMI cable, check your monitor or TV if it supports up to 120 or 60 let's just say which one you want to change it basically and the last one just reset your console that shouldn't be a problem because 99 percent of the people already keep it on the cloud like i said so yeah this was the video i hope you enjoyed guys and you can also join the, our community at our fix yeah so thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment down below if you still have a problem